And then this third hole is from where I got them pierced, which is I got them pierced at Claire's. I have the same on the others. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. I changed it out. I didn't even know. I forgot about that. This last one here is stolen from my mom. Have you ever heard that gold and silver doesn't go together and that it's a fashion faux pas or maybe that less is more when it comes to jewelry? If you have and you agree with these statements, then this video is here to prove you wrong. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natasha. Subscribe if you haven't already. In today's video, we are going to debust these myths. I don't know if that's the right word, but we're just gonna prove that these myths of mixing gold and silver jewelry doesn't work because it actually does and also at the end of this video i'm gonna do a jewelry haul so definitely make sure to stay tuned for that but i want to get right on into how you can mix silver and gold jewelry together and make it look good if this is something you've never tried before i have a few tips for how to start getting into it and how to make it really not look crazy but make it look balanced make it look nice so the first tip that i have have is when starting out with this keep it balanced so for example if you're gonna wear some rings that are both silver and gold I would recommend trying out like spacing out the silver and gold along the different fingers blend them out evenly so that one color doesn't overpower the other color or for example if you're wearing necklaces you like layer them differently so maybe one gold one silver one shorter gold one a little bit longer silver one a little bit longer gold you know just keeping it balanced so that there's not like everything gold and like one ring that's silver that like that might make it look a little bit uneven the next step is choosing a gemstone that is the same in both the silver and the gold so let's say once again we're gonna say rings the one ring where the gemstone is blue and you have a gold ring where the gemstone is it will make it look like it was made to be matching together it will create some sort of unity throughout the jewelry i also tend to think that there are different tones in golds and silvers and if you try to find something more for example white gold will pair it i think more easily with silver or even like more white silver as well or having something gold but that has like white crystals on it together with silver is easier too if you don't feel ready enough to mix the different metals in one place you can start out by wearing for example gold earrings and a silver necklace gold rings and silver earrings you know just try to start getting into the whole mixing everything it will just help you like kind of ease into it and the last tip that i have is to try and find pieces that already mix the metals i have an example of this this is a pretty small ring but as you can see the hearts there's one heart that is gold and one that is silver. By already just trying on pieces that already are gold and silver in the one piece, it helps you kind of once again dip your toe in the water. Also, normally pieces that are already created like this will just look very good. The designer knew what they were doing and they've been able to mix these in a special way to really just make it pop and look good. Okay. Now that I've said all of that, I think we should get into my jewelry haul and we can start off with what I am already wearing right now. I'm gonna also try and say where everything is from. Some of my stuff is gifted, like I don't know where it's from, but when I do know, I'll make sure to say it and try and link it as well. Everything that I'm wearing right now is more or less gold, except for one of my rings, which is white pearls and then like a little detail with a little bit of gold and a little bit of diamonds. So we have some mixing there already but this bracelet right here is a bangle that you can open like this and i bought it when i was in the u.s in a goodwill but it was like a luxury goodwill you would have seen that if you watch my u.s vlogs but i wear it all the time and i love it it's a great layering piece it's great on its own too then on the other hand i also have a bangle this one is from a market in morocco that i was in this summer i also filmed that if you haven't watched it go watch that my name is actually engraved in it and even on the other side it says my name in arabic which is so cool but i got that in a market in morocco so i don't know where you could get that but yeah and then this piece is i literally sleep in it i like never take it off i shower in it i go to the gym in it i never take it off but i got it as a present on my 18th birthday from family friends so i don't know where it's from but i think it's so cute like it's just 
like it has the two little people and then here's like a little diamond as well uh for my rings this ring is from brandy melville and this one is from a brand called monica vanader this one is from safira and this one to be honest it might be from shein but i think that's like the only jewelry i have from shein to be honest because i don't buy from there anymore if we get up a little bit then i can show you that right here is where i keep most of my jewelry as you might be able to tell half is silver and the other half is gold i do also have some jewelry in this box right here but i literally never use it i maybe use like two items in here so i'm not really gonna get into that so i'm gonna place you like literally inside my jewelry and i think we can start off with this right here which is where i have all of my rings you might be able to tell that i definitely have more gold jewelry than silver because i do wear gold way more often than i wear silver i also forgot to say where my earrings are from sorry 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 let's get into that first these are actually clip-on earrings that i bought at a thrift store i didn't know they were clip-on when i bought them but it works really well this second hole right here is from Safira, and then this third hole is from where i got them pierced which is i got them pierced at claire's that was also in my us vlogs if you haven't seen that and so i have the same on the others oh wait no i haven't i changed it out i didn't even know i forgot about that this last one here is stolen from my mom so i don't know where it's from and then this one i received from a friend so i don't know where it's from either but just i like layering what i did here was like because this one's a hoop and long i have one here that's long and then another that's a hoop just like i like to have fun with it now we can get into the rings i'm gonna try and go through this pretty quickly because there's a lot to go through so first of all this ring super chunky from weekday love it but after having used it for like a year or two the color has come off on the back of it so this ring super basic from a place called freya treasures color has kind of come off a little bit but it still works this is one of my everyday pieces it's from monica vanader i usually always wear it on my ring finger right here color doesn't come off at all i wear it all the time i like literally wear this ring almost every single day and i've been doing it for like a year so super good quality this ring i got it super recently it was actually gifted to me from a brand called regina jewelry very nice this ring i got it from my aunt and it was like she had these made so doesn't really have a brand either i have two rings here that i absolutely love and they both used to be my mom so i don't know exactly where they're from but they both have both gold and silver in the metal which i find really cool and it makes it easier if i want to mix gold and silver together this ring is from a random market in italy but it's super pretty it's like a bigger piece so if i want to make more of a statement i wear this this is like a way thinner piece way more minimalistic and it was gifted to me so i don't know where it's from but it's super cute gold these two rings right here from a brand called balabuste they were originally a set of three but i think the third one like just lost so much of its color that i was like i don't want that anymore oh i found two more shein rings actually but i don't really wear them a lot because they lose their color and they make your fingers green but we have these two this one with hands and then this one is just like a square but i mean they're still cute but like i don't recommend shopping on shein at all no i had one more shein ring i think it's from shein at least but it's just like a big bulky heart ring and i thought it was adjustable because it had this but it's like rock hard so like i I cannot make this any smaller and it's a little bit big for me so yeah then this one right here is from a thrift store as well it's very cute just a little diamond and these are my last two gold rings that i have to show for today and they have this green gemstone they are both from monica vanader once again really really good quality if you want good quality jewelry this is where you should buy onto silver rings i definitely don't have as many but there are still a few we can start off with these ones right here two rings separate from also balabuste they make good jewelry but i would say that the color doesn't really last then we have some thrift store rings both of these one says hope on it and the other one just has like a little fishy this hope one has been so good hasn't lost any color this 
fishy one on the other hand i mean it broke a little bit here on the end of the tail and on the other side of it it's like completely lost its color which is so sad because this is such a cute ring i have about three rings that i can show you that i don't exactly know where they're from because this first one i literally just don't remember where i got it from this one is gifted and then this one i got it when i was in lanzarote with some friends so just like a local store that sold jewelry but it's held its color like so 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 well okay i have this ring it is part of my silver rings but i never wear it even though it is kind of cool but it's from shein loses its color not great and then lastly i have this ring which i find so cool this is more of a white silver so this is definitely easier to pair with gold jewelry i find it's from Safira, and it just has like all these like this texture is crazy and it has some diamonds in it too i think it's awesome Moving on, we have bracelets. So let's start again with gold. I already showed you the ones that I'm wearing, but then I have this one right here, which is very chunky. It's bold, but I love layering like just lots of big jewel. In jewelry, a lot of the times, more is more rather than less is more. This one is also from that Goodwill luxury Goodwill store, like I said. It just works so well with everything then i have two bangles that i bought when i was in hong kong also like on a market i really find that market jewelry is like the most unique the most amazing jewelry sometimes quality is really bad sometimes it's really good so i have these two bangles a little bit more colorful but they're fun this one is a lot smaller though so sometimes i'm just like ugh, almost too small i love bangles i love bangles and then i have a gold bangle but i need to clean it up because like right now it's looking very dark but the inside of this is quite cool because it has like i don't know if you can see exactly but it has kind of like a snake print vibe going to it and then on the side here it also says just like executive i don't know if that's supposed to mean anything but it's cool i have some smaller bracelets as well just like regular chain bracelet this one is from Safira. It has lost its color a little bit. It used to be more gold. It used to be more like a yellow gold and now it's faded. But it's still a good piece. Then I have this one which has not lost any of its color at all. Super nice from a brand called Beautiful Earth Boutique. It was actually gifted to me. Same thing goes for this bracelet. Same brand, also gifted. But the only issue with this one is that it's actually broken. So I'm gonna have to fix that or something. We'll have to see about that. That's it for my gold bracelets and on my silver bracelets i actually only have bangles all of my bangles are thrifted so there's no brand so i'm sorry about that but let me show you anyways these two that i like to wear together one is just plain there's nothing on it this one has a little bit of texture on it and some black on it as well then i have three bangles they're a little bit thinner but also just like different textures on them and then i have a huge bangle that i actually have not worn a lot but i want to wear it more but yeah silver and white and blue and it's really like thick and chunky and it's giving statement i think we can go right on into earrings i do have the other earring that was on this one that i got at claire's like right when i pierced it i do still have it i guess stud diamond stud with gold details on it i prefer my earrings to be a little bit more bold than minimalistic i would say but i do still have some smaller pieces so i'll go ahead and show those first i guess these two earrings came in a set and they also came together with this earring right here the one that's like a hoop and dangly at the same time it's a set of three earrings from Safira. really nice if i don't wear these big ones i might just exchange them with these two smaller ones and it gives like just a little bit of layering and different dangliness different lengths in the dangly earrings and stuff and i think it's super pretty together then i have another hoop earring it's a little bit bigger than the one i have in here but i could put it in like the first hole or something this was given to me from a friend so i had no idea where it's from though but it's like just a super simple basic who and from that same friend she decided that she only wanted to wear silver jewelry so she was like i have some gold jewelry if you want it take it so i i did take some of the stuff and these are earrings that are also from her they're a little bit chunkier but they're still very small earrings super cute then i have these that i really like to wear they're from weekday and they have some different colored like gem stones or diamonds in them for me it's giving a little bit like disco ball they're more festive they're great 
to pair honestly with any earrings like they work so well with everything then i have a, a little bit more of a statement piece here which i'll wear often like if i have like a dinner or something more special these big earrings from h&m actually but they hold so so well like the color has been really good for some reason and then these that i got super recently also gifted from beautiful earth boutique super chunky but like in size they're still quite small i love the way these look like and just like the texture that they have on them too is so fun in silver earrings i literally just have one pair and i like barely ever wear them but they do kind of go in with like the trends nowadays that bows are a big trend so i have these silver bows but they were gifted to me from family friends so i don't know where they're from they're super cute but yeah in earrings i wouldn't say i have loads like what i have most of is definitely rings and lastly we get to necklaces which is actually something that i have more of in my silver Silver jewelry than in my gold jewelry we'll start off with gold again and first off we have this necklace that is gold and has some diamonds here i think it's so pretty i got it for my mom stole it from her as usual sorry mom i'm not gonna lie it actually broke recently so i went to a shop to get it fixed but i've had that necklace forever so like it's it's been holding on for a long time so it's not just like that it's new and it just broke like now then i have this piece which was gifted to me by a brand called regina jewelry and i chose it because it's so cute it's little cherries I just wanted to get more gold necklaces because I clearly like don't have any gold necklaces like this and then I have one more which is the most simple gold chain ever and I think I stole this from my dad so for silver necklaces I have quite a few more I think a lot of these I don't know where they're from because I've had them literally forever so for example we have this one which is just a little heart had it forever same thing goes for this necklace right here that is an angel I know it's it's not supposed to be on this chain which is why it's hanging very weirdly uh, I don't know where the original chain is though but that's just proof of like I've had this for so 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 long same thing here like I don't know where these are from because I've just had them forever but this one has a little bit of a red ruby in it which is so cute this necklace right here okay originally it's supposed to be black but i like to wear it just like on the silver side because i think the color looks way better like that but across and then for the jewelry where i do actually know where it's from i literally have like two pieces which is this skull i love wearing it it's from shein though but it hasn't lost color or anything but i think i switched out the chain or something but like the actual skull has not changed any color so that's so good i recently got this one which is like a flower and i showed this in my thrift haul as well i have a huge thrift haul that i posted a few weeks ago definitely check it out sometimes i wear it on the correct side where you can also see some diamonds in it as you can see it has some diamonds in it but sometimes i just wear it on this side to like have it more plain and that is literally my whole jewelry collection like i said i do have another box here where i have some jewelry but i never wear it i might wear like this piece that i made myself and this bracelet also that i really love i got this from my great grandma it's from a brand called snob sweden and they also support like good causes the money you pay for their jewelry i don't know exactly how much but percent of it goes to like a charity or a foundation or something so it's always good to shop for a cause i hope you enjoyed this video and that you now see that you can mix silver and gold jewelry and wear more jewelry because more is more in my opinion let me know if you prefer wearing gold or silver or both also, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!